This just in, breaking news. Actually, I'm totally kidding. So there's been a recent development in the conversation surrounding radon and how it impacts Colorado real estate. We're one of the few nations that actually requires our radon inspectors and installers to be licensed. And that may come as a shock to you since it's only a couple of years old. Let's get into some of the new interesting factors when selling a piece of real property in Colorado. So specifically this law, is called SB 23-206 and it's titled Radon in Residential Real Property Transactions. It's quite a mouthful. What it basically seeks to do is requires disclosure of any known radon tests, radon readings that as the seller, you may be required and now are required to disclose at the time of listing your property. There's some new bold face text you have to display at the property. You have to make sure that your seller's property disclosure Closure is up to date. And so for those sellers that may have been listed back in May or June and are still sitting on their listing, there may be some activity that you'll have to take care of. Going forward into the rest of the year, 2023, and then into the great wide beyond, it's going to be important to understand that this is not a mandate. You do not have to test your home for radon prior to listing it. You have to fill out boxes on the seller's property disclosure if you have tested. So let's say you bought the home home in say October of 2023 and you went ahead and you know decided Colorado Springs isn't right for you or you want to move and change your home your obligation at that point if you did test for radon in October of 2023 is to disclose those readings and Colorado has always been a disclosure state you know anything that you don't share on that seller's property disclosure I promise you your neighbors will share that with the new homeowners it's come up time and time again in all sorts of real state case law. So keep that in mind. I want to read some highlighted text to you that I think that is really important to encapsulate what's going on with this bill. So most recent records and reports pertaining to radon concentrations within the property, you'll have to disclose that. A description of any radon concentrations detected or mitigation or remediation performed formed and information regarding whether the radon mitigation system has been installed in the property and provide an electronic or paper copy of the most recent brochure published by the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment that provides advice about radon in residential real estate transactions. You know, we've got one of these brochures or pamphlets for lead-based paint disclosure. And, you know, you have to attach that to your listing information so that people understand that if you're listing a home built prior to January 1 of 1978 because that's the breaking point for when lead-based paint was outlawed in residential real estate. So where do I stand on this issue? You know, as a licensed real estate agent, I'm supposed to garner the public trust, take care of everybody in this. And my, my opinion is finally, finally, the Colorado Real Estate Commission coupled with the state legislature has said, here is our position on radon. Prior to June of 2021, when Governor Polis signed HB 21, 1195, which required the licensing of people who were inspecting for radon and installing radon mitigation systems, we always felt like, where do we stand on this radon issue? I know it's out there. I know that the limit on radon is X. And if my clients want to test for it, then I will empower them to do so. We'll find the right home inspector. We will make sure that they are equipped to test with the right device. You know, these things are important to our clients. Therefore, they're important to me. But now the state of Colorado has come out and unilaterally said, you will have to disclose. I think this will put everyone on notice, including builders. So many builders these days are already offering radon mitigation systems in their new construction homes. But now if they know about it, and chances are they are going to find out about it as a result of other homes being sold in the neighborhood, perhaps during their soils and percolation tests, they may be getting radon levels discovered as a result of excavating and finding a bunch of decomposing granite. And then third, I think that the, the biggest factor here is that everyone will be on the same level playing field. Everyone is aware that lead-based paint, asbestos, meth, mold, those are like the four-letter words in real estate. And, and now we can add 
right on to that list because there are thresholds. There's a legal limit as, as far as what the EPA thinks ought to go on. And now radon is finally given its due in terms of being a serious threat to the public health and that the Real Estate Commission has backed up finally what we all have been wanting to hear. So that's my thoughts on radon and residential real property transactions. That went into effect on August 7th, 2023, and how that may impact you going forward. I wanna say thanks to all of you who've been watching the videos, who have been subscribing to the channel, and who've been giving me thumbs up on the videos I'm producing. I really enjoy making these. I'm an educator at heart, I love teaching, and I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving. Thank you so much for watching.